Sala Geek. I'm Susie. Je suis Miguel. Soy Miguel. Soy Miguel. I'm Miguel Guerra. So what are we going to do today? We're going to watch you color mm -hmm. Wolf Boy and the Magical Warriors. The yes. illustration that in our previous episode you inked. Right. And now you're colored. Great. And it's all digital. So it's very cool if you want to see how Miguel works on things, get ideas for how you color, or just uh, if you enjoy watching somebody talk and joke and laugh about art while they do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, well, I hope you enjoy the episode, and it's, well, you know what time it is. It's time to get your geek on. Here it is in all of its in glory. And you are using the lasso, lasso tool? Yeah. And you are just going around. It's I sped this up, that's why it looks so quick and efficient. Wow. Sweet, huh? Makes you look really, really good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm hypnotized. <laughs> yeah. So I, I actually don't use this coloring technique. So there's lots of different coloring techniques, but this one is you go around. Well, I'm laying down the flats. So the first thing I do yes. is that I lay down a principal color over the entire thing. And right now, I put the lasso tool, as you see, and this way I can just lay down colors as quickly as I want. That's right. Because I hadn't figured out monkey's colors at that point. And through this uh, video, <clears throat> I, I'm not showing the water in the waves, just the characters to save some time. Oh, okay. Okay. So now you're going to... Using Selecting, the lasso you, to select the it, next color. Yep, his feet. Mm -hmm. Hands and feet, Hands face, and feet. the skin color. Yep, bingo. Didn't like it too light. Oh, forgot yeah, his didn't. ears. Forgot his ears. <laughs> I got that correct. Okay, there you go. So what did you do? You just undid and uh, added some? Okay. Step back, yep. Okay, so uh, now it's the third color. Yep, which is his shirt. His tunic. Yep. And then I'll go in after it, I do all that, and then I have to put up the colors. But the good thing about having one principal color over everything. Ah, uh, doing a little ink correction, very nice. Mm hmm Always tweaking and editing as I go along. Mm hmm Until basically the drawing defeat me, defeats me. <laughs> the drawing is always victorious over the artist. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. It will beat you down. Yeah. And now we're on to our main character, Wolf Boy. Mm -hmm. And selecting, and you're using the Add to Selection tool. Uh, That's right. Part of the lasso. You can subtract or add. That's right. And choosing his skin color. A little more with the pencil tool. <laughs> mm -hmm. And his little, what do you call that? Loincloth, I suppose? His little loincloth. That's right. And the wraps around his uh, wrists and uh, calves. Mm -hmm. it, was there, um, we, you went with this drawing for it to match the story. That's right. Because mm -hmm. it's all about Atlantis. So but our I, volume one is that's called right. The Flushing of Atlantis. And this ended up becoming an illustration, not the actual cover. Yes. I redid it because I like to torture myself. I actually have a nice big blog post on that. On, yeah. on the change, how this was really a really good illustration, and you made it even better and did a second one. But we had already recorded you doing this. Yes, that's right. So uh, this is for the tutorial. Uh, but the final drawing, uh, there's a, a, I'll put a link to our blog post so you can see that. Mm -hmm. And reasons why we went with a different illustration, even though this one was really good. Yeah, it wasn't quite as dynamic. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be okay as a, maybe as a panel or something. But it wasn't, to me, it did not feel dynamic enough to be a, a cover. But sometimes you have to go through that effort of actually doing it and then finding out it didn't, doesn't really work all that well and then try something else. Right. Changing the camera angle. Well, I think that's why you're a really good artist. Yeah. Because you keep trying and trying uh, and no, making things I'm, better. You're so kind. <laughs> you're so humble. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I, 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 I know I can always be better. Yeah. But you're, you know, you're not a jerk or anything. You always try to do uh, better. I'm a jerk. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, um, you yeah. are sometimes, but yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. when you're improving and stuff. It's all cool. 
Yeah. It's all good. So, yeah. So, it's everything what, in this is like basically lasso, paint bucket, pencil. Yeah, lasso, paint bucket, pencil. And what I try to do at first is do as quickly as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not as, I've seen you do your, the, do the flats. You're a little, you're much more meticulous than I am at first. Because you go back and clean up. I like getting it nice the first time. Right. Yeah. That's why I was saying we have a bit of a different technique. But usually what I like to do is I like to see where, how are the colors all going to work together? Yeah. Well, I've already worked out which the color palettes are. You, you were winging it here. Yeah. Yeah. I was winging it. I was winging it. But I like to sort of like, that's why I like to do it fast. Mm -hmm. So you, our usual process is uh, after writing the script, uh, we, uh, I, do I do the flat colors. And then you do all the magical rendering highlights. Well, how it works. Oh, effects. here, by the way, I'm using the masking tool. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Explain masking that. tool is your friend. So you'll go over, you'll see where the uh, black, well, the color selections that you have on your tool, on your uh, toolbox over there that I'm picking. You can see the colors changing. Right underneath, there's a black box with a circle in it, a white circle. When you select something, or if you switch over to that, you can actually create your own selection and I find that's a lot faster for getting um, just a lot of things done particularly like if you just want to select a certain part uh, and you want to make it look all like nice cell like I find that works well mm -hmm. instead of trying to use the lasso tool because the lasso tool well don't use both clunky. together you use the lasso and then you add a mask mm, no sometimes what I like to do I like to go in well, right now I'm cleaning stuff up, I see, yeah. but I like to go in and just use the pencil tool mm -hmm. with the mask, <clears throat> and then use the eraser to get a nice sharp, crisp line. Okay. And then go from. You know there. what? I'll I'll add a link to uh, a good masking tutorial. Okay. Okay, for people to uh and to for reference me. and for you as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I like to work really fast and messy. That's just the way I go. <laughs> I like to sort of see what's everything going to kind of look like. And then start to sharpen everything up from there. That's just the way that I work. So you color like you draw. Right. Yeah, your, your sketches. My sketches. So One thing, too, though, the, our process goes script, script, breakdowns, breakdowns, pencils, pencils, <laughs> inks, inks, col color, where Susie does the flats, hands it back to me, and I add the shinola. The shinola. Yes. I just... Uh, Shadows, highlights. Yeah, all that all stuff. All the beautiful stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. And by that point... You forgot all the times we rewrite the script. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, even halfway through, yeah, I'm drawing count. a page, too, sometimes. Like, you know, that might not work. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And I often change the dialogue, even at the end, to make a joke funny or something like that. Right. But, uh, yeah, it, it's... It's It's a process. Yes. We have a good process with room to change. Yes. That's why it's nice working together. Yes, I love love working with you. You're the best. <laughs> yeah. Even when you tell me like maybe that might not work, like with or maybe discover. you can do this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it it all works. Uh, for example, with this stuff, Target and against is all ages, which includes kids. Mm -hmm. So we'll show our kids and see if they laugh right away, see what their initial you know two second reaction is. Yeah. Uh, and that will tell us if something's funny or not, because they don't fake it. No. Well, no. Or if something's an uncle joke, <laughs> the kids will tell you. So here you're going just in. refining. Yeah, it's all about refining. So you're just using the point. pencil tool mm -hmm. to, and it's important too when you're coloring to bring the color all the way. The two colors should, should butt. touch each other. Like if you hide the ink layer, you should see the skin tone line right up with the fur color, uh, with no blue. I should do that more often. Yeah, I do that to double check. Because uh, when it prints, it prints nicely with no strange little... there. You know, Yeah, there might be a weird gap where you'd see an ink line and then a little bit of blue in this case. If mm -hmm. your background color was yellow, you might see a tiny bit of yellow beside the ink line. Mm -hmm. So always uh, have your all your colors touching all the time with no space in between. Yeah, here I am. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> touching stuff up. Yeah. I'm definitely much more of the messy first. But that's how I kind of approach even like sometimes I'll I'll do something rough, like a rough idea. Mm -hmm. 
and then you write into a script. Yeah, maybe I'll do a... See, what I would do is I would actually go in and outline everything and then paint bucket it. Yeah. That's what I usually do. That takes forever. I try to But it's nuts. the same as, as cleaning it all. You still have to go into every single line and do it. Yeah, I kind of feel like I achieved something like that. <laughs> I tried it both ways and with masking. And I find mm-hmm. uh, in the end you, you have to, you have to uh, go to the ink line. Yep. So you can pick whatever technique you like. There's many. But this yeah. is just one that we recorded. Just so you can see an entire, in this case, this entire illustration from your inks to the color, the flat colors to the rendering. So this is a three-part series. Mm-hmm. Yes, because there's other things too that I'll do later on with with the once I have it all laid out, and that's when the masking will come in and handy, and plus the uh, transparency. And you'll probably notice too that I kept the background separate from what I'm actually oh, doing. Oh yes, that's very important. I do that mostly on covers. Okay, the main part here it's repetitive. You better put on some music, whatever you like to listen to, and just zone out. <laughs> Tune in, zone out. <laughs> Tune in, zone out, because I find that I listen to a lot of music or podcast stuff while I'm doing this kind of work, because it can yeah, be the Yeah, little... the, the drawing is the most creative part. Yeah. Coloring is, uh, it could get a little bit tedious, especially the flat colors. Well, yeah. 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 Even the rendering can, too. Yes? Oh. Yeah, even the rendering can. Okay. Because you already know what you're going to do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And one other thing, too. Many people sort of make it seem like the computer does everything for you. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm going through with the stylist doing all this. So it's still hand-eye yeah, it's coordination. It's really funny the way people talk. Unless people do that. But before, they, there's still some that talk about, oh, digital yeah. coloring, digital inking. It's like you're still doing it all. Yep. Yeah. You're still hand doing everything. I think there's a tendency for people to get a little crazy about originals. And my thing is, no one freaks out about, hey, I want the original woodblock of uh, Hokusai. <laughs> yeah, speaking hey. of Hokusai, the wave there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I got the print. Yeah, exactly. Well, you do always have the original pencils. Mm-hmm. You always do the original pencils. It's just the colors and inks we do. Mm-hmm. You do. Um, uh, on the computer. Yep. All right, so we're, this is actually winding down now uh, through the miracle of speeding up uh, the video. <laughs> right. You were able to do that rather quickly. And here's the end with the flats. So remember to come back for part three where Miguel will render. I'll render. You'll see the final drawing. And please like get, and subscribe. And get your geek on. And get your geek on.